Well, good evening, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 19th of December. You have about 132 hours left until uh, Christmas Day here. We're going to talk about the polar vortex here in a minute because it's about to make a move and uh, talk about how that will influence our weather here. But first off, a, a recap of here of last week's summary on a National Retail Federation calendar. So big map here is temp trends versus a year ago, how our retail customers would look at it. Uh, warm, dry, and not a lot of snow was the big theme here in the U.S. 9.2 degrees warmer. Second warmest in 36 years, 43% drier than dry in four years, 72% less snowfall, least in three years. Again, a lot of heavy snow in the Sierras of the West, but again, where people live, not a lot. Up in Canada, a bit warmer, warmest in three years. Uh, UK, a hair warmer, warmest in six. Europe, coldest in three. Russia, a little bit warmer. Uh, China, warmest in three. Still cold down under in Australia. Again, they're about to enter their summer here, but their spring has been very cold. Coldest in nine years. Um, over in Brazil, a little bit cooler than last year, but still above average. On a world scale, uh, quite a bit warmer than last year and driest in 14 years. Map since it left are the trends versus uh, average. Looking at the fall recap here again, so this is just the year over year trends, how again our retail customers look at it. We have a very cold November. Uh, chart left here is temperature trends versus the same period last year, so very warm September, October. Cold November almost every week, and then December, um, again, obviously trending warmer. Pattern may be breaking down here, though. We'll talk about that in a second. Rainfall generally dry, uh, a couple uh, wet weeks there, but uh, again, the last um, few weeks, and again, going into here, December, January, looks to be dry. Snowfall trends are right chart here. Again, uh, so yellow bars are just much less snow than last year. Blue bar, more snow than last year. So a couple weeks in November with more snow. Um, that uh, week ending 12-11 had uh, quite a bit more snow than last year, and maybe as we get out toward uh, this last week of uh, between Christmas and New Year's, a little bit more snow than last year. We'll see here, but the polar vortex is about to make a move. This week here, again, Christmas week, again, uh, about 1.5 warmer than last year, eighth warmest in 36 years. If there's a colder spot versus a year ago, it's definitely the west, Montana, and the New England area. A little misleading here, even in our area. That's going to be quite a bit cold weather here. Uh, but uh, nighttime lows may be up just a hair above average. But uh, definitely feel a little more wintry uh, in the northeast. 36% drier than last year. Driest in 11 years. Eighth driest in 36 years. So below average there. But again, notice where all the rain is, where, where it's not usually uh, out in the west, California. So very heavy rain out there. And heavy mountain snow again. 28% less snow than last year on a national scale. Ninth least in 36 years. If we look at the uh, snowfall here, again, there's a six-day snowfall outlook here for the 19th through the 24th. Uh, still below average. Uh, again, a lot out in the west, but 10% uh, less than last year, 50% below average, eighth least in 36 years. So not much. Again, northern tier or the uh, Intermountain West high elevations. Looking at the um, snow cover here, anticipation for this is uh, actually snow cover on Christmas Day. So folks looking for a white Christmas. Haven't had much of that last year. Only about 27% of us. Had snow on the ground uh, Christmas morning. Um, forecast this year is probably about where we are right now. Maybe add a little bit to this, but uh, right now we're about 31% of the country with snow on the ground, and that's probably where we're going to end up with uh, a little bit more snow here this week. Um, so maybe go a hair more, but uh, average for a white Christmas would be about 38% of us. So um, the big year was 2009 when 63% of the country had snow on the ground. So not this year. Um, one thing we want to look at here, those polar vortex here, again, you can see the signs of it's been very strong, and when it's very strong, it's symmetrical. So you see it starts off pretty symmetrical here, and then it begins to break apart here, uh, a little bit of a breaking and a widening apart here. When that happens, it just means that the Arctic air is on the move. Um, so if it's really strong as it's been, uh, it's bottled up at the North Pole, and when it breaks apart like this, you can start to get some cold weather. So we may be seeing a sign of that here as we get into um, January. Our expectations that January would be colder, uh, we'll see here. There's definitely a sign of the Polar vortex doing its thing. Uh, didn't do it last year until February. Um, this year, maybe a month earlier. Next week, again, hard to believe it's going to get us into 2022 here. But um, again, still, you start to see signs of that uh, polar vortex there in the uh, Montana's northern plains where very cold weather starting to move into the U.S. Uh, so we'll see here. Maybe this is going to start to erode this uh, milder pattern we've had here in December. Just a hair warmer than last year, 13th warmest in 36 years. A little bit drier, drier in four years. More snow, most snow in four years, so 10th most in 36 years. So maybe this is the sign of things to come. If you like cold and snow, um, you might get your wish here in January and probably get in March. Um, so with that, folks, we'll end here with just a recap again for the two-week period here, getting us into 1 January. Seeing some of that Arctic air in western central Canada uh, may be heading our way. Uh, precip map, total precip inset left there. With that, folks, have a great Christmas and Happy New Year, and uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Have a great week.